My name is Dean Carhalios. I'm a board certified neurosurgeon. I specialize in complex spinal disorders. My focus really is on patients that have advanced problems related to their spine that uh, are not responsive to conservative measures and require surgical intervention. I also have a strong interest in minimally invasive procedures because in my experience, uh, patients who have procedures done minimally invasively tend to do better uh, than those that have open procedures. I also have a strong interest in uh, computer guided procedures, navigation, uh, and uh, uh, I feel that in my practice, in my hands, uh, that those patients benefit from the added precision that comes with navigated procedures. So the area in question that we're talking about today is the sacroiliac joint, and uh, that's the joint at the very bottom of the spine that joins the sacrum to the ilium or the pelvis. Uh, it's a very large, broad joint uh, at the very bottom on both sides, left and right. Uh, so patients that develop pain related to this joint uh, can have pain in the area of the lower uh, lumbar spine, the lumbosacral spine near the very bottom of the spine, on either side, left, right, or on both sides. There are many causes for SI joint pain. The most common cause is just a simple degenerative condition. SI joint pain can also be precipitated by trauma. Other causes of SI joint dysfunction are having uh, fusion done uh, in the spine in the lower spine uh, from the lumbar region to the sacral region. Again, there's a lot of overlap between pain that comes from the spine and pain that's related to the SI joint. So during my interview of a patient, I'll try to ask them questions that will help me get at where exactly the pain is coming from. Is it pain when they stand? Is it pain when they sit? Is it pain when they sit a certain way? Is it pain during certain activities, tw twisting? Um, so the, the history is going to be very ex important. Has there been a trauma? Uh, to the spine? Has there been previous surgery uh, involving the spine? Certainly if there's been a fusion that would sort of um, pique my attention that maybe we have a situation where that fusion is putting more stress on the SI joint. So anytime a patient comes in with complaints of back pain primarily, I'm always thinking in, in the back of my mind, could it be an SI joint problem? If a patient's had a previous fusion in the lumbosacral spine, uh, that incidence of SI joint pain is significantly higher. It can be almost 50%. Typically, uh, in a patient who um, I have a heightened suspicion that there might be an SI joint problem, they've pointed to the area, I've been able to palpate over the area and generate pain. I've performed uh, SI joint provocative maneuvers to stress the SI joint that were positive. Uh, the next thing that I would typically do is one, uh, image the area to see if I can demonstrate pathology on an imaging study, either a CT scan, an MRI scan, or both. The other thing I would do is send the patient for SI joint injections. Um, and those can potentially have both diagnostic value and therapeutic value. If a patient gets an injection and their pain gets better and they're cured, well, that's the best possible scenario. Uh, but if they get better and their pain comes back, which is more commonly what, what they experience, uh, that gives me diagnostic information that in fact the SI joint was probably uh, a cause for their pain. Next thing we would talk about is do we do uh, another lesser invasive procedure or do we go to something like an SI joint fusion. The other thing I like about the SI bone uh, technology is it allows me to perform the procedure uh, not only minimally invasively through very small incisions but also using navigation technology. So the procedure itself takes about an hour. Afterwards the patients go to the recovery room where they wake up from their anesthetic and we visit with them at that point, and uh, in most cases they feel well. Their pain has improved, uh, they're experiencing preoperatively, they notice that there's been a significant uh, difference or improvement in their pain, and uh, in most cases they can go home. Just to summarize, if you're a patient uh, that has SI joint related pain, or you think you might be, and are interested in what I've had to say about this exciting technology, we would be very happy to see you. Uh, at the Advocate Medical Group. Our offices are in Park Ridge and in Downers Grove.